Well, for the first time ever, infants can be protected from RSV even before they're born. The FDA just approved Pfizer's new Abrisvo vaccine. It would be given to pregnant women to then pass the antibodies onto their newborns. RSV is a common respiratory virus that could cause cold-like symptoms. And joining me now is Dr. Malthia Srinivasa, clinical professor of medicine with Stanford. So thank you for joining us. Can you first tell us how this vaccine works and how effective is it? Yeah, thanks, Ryan. The uh, the two RSV vaccines that we have, the ones for adults over 60 and for uh, children uh, through passive immunization from their mother, are both about 70 to 80 percent effective in preventing pneumonia, which is you know this uh, really feared complication of RSV that causes hospitalizations and deaths. And it works by uh, letting the body uh, uh, react to a protein on the RSV surface uh, called a prefusion protein that allows the RSV to enter the cell. So it's a blocking antibody. It's a neutralizing antibody that we produce. So it, this is really amazing. This is going to save lives and it's going to save heartaches. We have about um, 21 million pediatric visits per year for children uh, who have RSV. About 60,000 children are hospitalized and several hundred of them die with RSV. So this is going to have a massive change in the the way uh, childhood illnesses present, and I think it's going to just be life-saving for kids. Yeah, a lot of people have been waiting for this approval. In the meantime, there have been some rare cases, though, some preterm births and mothers who receive this vaccine. So should people be concerned about this? The RSV vaccine is extremely safe. So um, uh, the uh, current immunization is that uh, uh, for pregnant women, they should get immunized between 32 and 36 weeks. And um, there seems to be about a 1% increase in preterm births um, from about 4.7% to about 5.7% in women who are vaccinated. But the problem is it's really hard to interpret this because the numbers are very small and we don't know if this is really meaningful. The average rate of preterm births in the United States is one in 10. And um, uh, the for low risk pregnancies, it's about a five or 6% uh, preterm pregnancy rate. So we don't know if this is a real finding or if this is just a variation because the numbers weren't large enough. So um, uh, in, in the medical field, most of us think that the vaccine is extremely safe and effective. Okay, and, and how is this vaccine actually different from an antibody injection to prevent RSV? So do, you, do you actually recommend getting both shots? Right, so a Brayfortis is a, a new antibody that uh, can be given to infants who are less than eight months old or uh, infants who are uh, eight to 18 months old who uh, are at higher risk to get RSV complications, you know, kids who have uh, lung issues or congenital heart disease, and it's given as, a, um, as an injection in the thigh, a one-time injection, and it seems to protect kids at about 80%, much like the vaccinations, for one season. So, uh, you know, whether you should get both, I think it'll probably give you more uh, protection, uh, the children more protection, uh, but I think the jury is out on whether you should get one or if you should get both. All right, well, always good information. So thank you very much, Dr. Sirini Vasa with Stanford. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much, Ryan. Great to be here.